All right, Sports Choir here with Coach Guy A from Georgia Tech Volleyball. We'll go back to this past weekend. You had some solid wins over Clemson and Virginia. Just overall impressions of how the teams were able to come out with victories. Uh, you know, I thought we played pretty consistent. Uh, we were able to, I think, distribute the ball. Um, our medals were more effective um, than they had been the previous weekend, which was good to see. Um, you know, just really good to be able to get out of those matches in three. Um, you know, the, those teams are playing better than they were the first time around that we played them, and so we knew that it was going to be a big challenge um, to play them here and just how we responded, how we stayed focused. Um, and I felt like those matches, we, we got better as a team through those matches too. So it was good to just see our growth in, in different moments and being able to do some different things. And uh, we'll continue to just keep striving excellence. Are you more impressed as a coach? It seems like the other matches, teams that are maybe ahead of you in the standings, there's easy motivation for that to get ready for those. Right. But matches against teams that are lower than you in the standings, talk about the maturity of being able to handle that and not look past those opponents and sure. getting wins as a coach from that perspective. For sure. I mean, it's something that we definitely emphasize a lot. And they're hearing from the beginning of the week uh, about what we're going to do. And I think, I mean, I think that having a group of seniors and juniors who the past few years understood that we were in their position before and we knew how we approached every game with knowing that we had a possibility of winning, um, you know, and that, that was exactly how those teams were feel. You know, it's nobody at this level is going to step on the court and think that they can't win a match. Uh, and we just, I mean, we saw Pitt be beating UNC last weekend and so we know that in the ACC any team can be any team and it's, um, you know, it's, it's we need to stay consistent and really take, you know, as we talk about every match, it needs to be our best match of the year. Um, and that's how we're, we're approaching it. We're very mature about how we're approaching those situations and we're doing the, th the things that we need to be doing in those situations. From those matches, Annika Van Duns picked up her 1,000th career dig. Mm -hmm. Discuss the contributions to the team and just her evolution as a player since she first came here. For sure. Um, you know, Annika has matured so much as a player, as a teammate. Um, it's been great to see her this year. Uh, really, you know, being able to have fun when she's out there, um, bouncing back from mistakes a lot more positively than, than she would in, in the beginning. And that's reflecting a lot on the team and how we are staying composed and, and really resilient with, with the situations that we've been approaching. Um, you know, she has done a tremendous job with that, and she has, that has, I think, um, been a directing fact on, on her performance and, and how more consistent she is performing for, for us. Um, you know, a thousand digs, it's huge. Um, it, it's a player that, that, you know, she's always putting up the numbers back row, and she's doing more and more things offensively for us as well. So again, she is a big part of our team and our program and our system. Um, and it's great to see that she is, every time that she steps on the court, she's doing better and better. Um, there's still so much room for her to, to reach her full potential. She knows that she's driven to get better. And I think that this year has been a, an awesome year for her because she's been able to lead in different ways that she wasn't able to do that before. Um, you know, so we're very proud of her, super happy that, that she reached that milestone. And, and I mean, she continues to work hard and coming here and come early and get extra reps and always strive to get better, and uh, we're going to miss having that around. <laughs> also, we talked a few weeks ago about the, the middles and you want to see more contributions from them. It looks like you're yeah. getting getting more of that, particularly from Sydney Wilson. For sure. She talked about just previously about her development from the beginning of the year to now and is getting is adjusted to the season. It looks yeah. like they've really been able to do that over these past few matches. For sure. I mean, our middles, um, you know, our, our group of middles with Lauren Perkin, Lauren Pitts, um, Cody Conley and Sydney Wilson. I mean, they are working really hard to get better. You know, they're coming in, doing extra reps. They were watching video. They understand the importance that they have in our system and how much better we can be when they're having games like Sydney had last week. You know, it just takes us to a whole completely different level. Um, and they're taking ownership in that and, and working together with our setters to get better and better. Um, every day, and, and Sid's been doing that all season. Uh, you know, she's putting in the time. She's definitely 
has approached training and her development with a little bit of a, more of a sense of urgency and she's you know just now getting the rewards for it which is great you have two matches coming up here against Virginia Tech and Pittsburgh. You faced them earlier in the year. You were able to defeat, defeat Virginia Tech, and you lost at Pitt. Uh, how has so how have those teams changed and uh, over since then? And what are you looking to prepare for against them? Um, they haven't changed too much. I mean, they're still personnel-wise uh, very similar from the beginning of the season. Um, but I think everybody at this time of the year is playing better than they were. You know seven weeks ago, how many weeks ago we started conference play. Um, so I, we know that it's going to be harder. Um, Virginia Tech is a team um, that can play at a very, very high level. They're a little more up and down, fits a little more consistent, but, but when, they're, when they're up and they got things going, they're a very efficient team, very hard team to beat. So um, we're preparing for that team. You know, and we're, we're expecting that they're going to come in here and, and be able to play us at that level that, that they're very capable of playing. Um, so we're going to have to play some good volleyball this weekend. It's going to be great um, to just push ourselves and really take ourselves to the next level, finish, the, finish this last round of conference really strong. I mean, every team that we play is going to push us, you know, more and more. Um, Pitt's coming in hot after that win, and they, they play Clemson on on Friday and then they see us on Sunday. So they're going to be coming in with some momentum and, and really, um, you know, it's a crucial match for them. It's a crucial match for us. Keeps ourselves in the run for that conference championship. And I think that this, this is a, one of the things that, that we're striving for. And we know that we need to get better in order to continue to give, keep ourselves in that position. So we're working hard to do that, preparing ourselves to play those two great teams. Hopefully we get lots of people here at O'Keefe a fun place. We'll take full advantage of the home court, um, you know, and then we're, we're making it exciting for everybody that's watching. Yeah, you mentioned Pittsburgh beating North Carolina, and that's put your team in a legitimate chance to win a conference yeah. championship and get that postseason bid as far as RPI looking at getting selected. Right. Uh, talking to other players, it seems like you've done a really good job of having to focus on one match at a time and yes. not really looking at the <laughs> and the standings and Good. all that stuff. Yeah, how, how do you do that, though, as far as keeping them focused and not looking at, at the hypothetical scoreboard right. or looking at the rankings when you still have plenty of matches to right. play? I think we, we have always talked about the process. Uh, we, we know what the outcome goal is. We know where we, we want to be and the things that we want to do. But we know that we don't get there if we don't do the little things that take us there. Um, and that's what, it's one of the things that this group has bought into. It's a philosophy that our staff kind of, you know, make sure that we hammer at their heads is it's the little things matter and how you do them in a consistent basis leads to those bigger goals. So uh, we're not taking any practice for granted, we're not taking any match for granted. We are fully engaged on beating Virginia Tech on Friday, and that's all we're working on right now. And then once we get there, then we'll go to our next goal, and then we'll go to our next goal. So we have little steps up the ladder that we know, you know, where we want to get, but it, we don't get there if we don't do the things that we need to do along the way. So I know that our minds and our focuses are right now getting better this next few days, and then playing Virginia Tech to the best of our abilities on Friday.